Hey guys, Bossa Kerga here. Recently I got to play the codename Steam demo, and I wanted to give you my initial impressions of it. Now, I was honestly torn on what I was going to get with this game because on one hand, it is made by Intelligent Systems, who makes Fire Emblem, which is one of my favorite series of all time, and Advance Wars. On the other hand, it looks like a Valkyria Chronicles ripoff, and I didn't want it to be that despite the fact that I really like Valkyria Chronicles. After playing a few hours of the game, I am happy to tell you that it is most certainly not a Valkyria Chronicles ripoff, and that it feels pretty original. First and foremost, the thing I love the most, actual strategy and difficulty. If you bum rush the enemies in this game, you are going to die. Very, very quickly. You have to think about what angles to attack from, where do you hide when you want your turn to end, what vantage point you want to go to get the best shot on the enemy. If you get that vantage point, will you leave yourself vulnerable afterwards? Is that um, risk worth it? Things like that make this game very, very fun for strategy fans such as myself. Also what I like is that every character you get to choose is going to be very unique and play differently from each other. For example, let's talk about the two characters I got to choose in the demo, Henry Flemings and John Henry. Henry Flemings is pretty much the main protagonist, and he's more of a traditional assault rifle character. You know, he goes in, he gets his few shots, and he's pretty powerful. You know, traditional assault rifle infantry man. Now, John Henry, this guy was my favorite. Not for his character itself, but from a gameplay standpoint. This guy basically has a grenade launcher. And oh my god, is this thing fun to use. You can shoot enemies from afar with grenades. And the most fun thing to do, and the most effective thing to do with him, is get him at a high vantage point where he's towering over the enemies. And you can rain down grenades on all of them, and then have Henry Fleming come in and get the kill on each. I love this, because it actually makes it feel like all your units have a role to play, and that each is as important as the next. Now let's talk about the steam system. In this game, you use steam to both move and to do your attacks. What I found interesting is that if you move forward and attack, you use up steam, but if you backtrack your steps, your steam comes back to you as well. So you can move up, get coins and like gear on the field, and then move back into a safe position and then keep all your steam. And if you want, you can end your turn and have that steam carry over into your next turn. So that was pretty cool to me. And something that Henry Fleming and most of the grunt alien units you face can do is something called Overwatch. What Overwatch is, is that when you have an excess amount of steam, you can do a counter attack when an enemy attacks you. And this is, well I won't say, yeah I won't say it's broken, but it's pretty good because you can get shots off on enemies on their turn without them even touching you. Because let's say an enemy comes up to you, they see you and they're about to shoot you. If you have enough steam to do an overwatch, you shoot them first. And in my experience, you usually kill them too. So yeah, it's an effective way to not take damage. But it can be really annoying when the enemy can do it. Because that means you have to shoot them from out of their sight. Because if you shoot them head on, they're going to get you first and you are going to take quite a bit of damage. So once again, a nice strategy element. So yeah, I was a big fan of these two characters and if these two alone had this much strategy to them, I can't wait to see what the others can do as well. Especially the Scarecrow. But that's mainly because I have a thing for pumpkins and scarecrows, but whatever. Now on to the problems and worries I have with the game. First and foremost, this one isn't really a problem per se, at least not yet, and that is the story itself. From what little I got to see, I was not invested whatsoever. Basically, aliens start attacking, they have to defend. That's pretty much it. I really hope there's more backstory to this. It doesn't have to be a serious story. Just make me care about what's happening in the background. And also, I would like to see more mission objectives, more diverse ones. Cause from the demo, all you really had to do was reach a certain highlighted green space. I mean, it was challenging a lot of times cause it was like garrisoned by enemies, but still, I would like different objectives. And that's only talking about single player, by the way, cause multiplayer has been confirmed to have multiple game types, so... Not too worried about that, let's just hope those game types are fun and that the online for this game is long lasting. Now, the biggest problem I and pretty much everyone else I saw who played this game had 
is the fact that enemy turns take forever to end. I mean forever. I count it and it usually takes literally half a minute for the enemy turn to process. This may not seem like a lot if you haven't played the game, but trust me, 30 seconds of mostly nothing happening and maybe like one enemy moving is excruciatingly long. And then there's the fact you can't skip it or speed it up. I really hope that's changed in the full game, because as it stands right now, that's a huge problem. Those problems aside though, I surprisingly had a pretty good time with Codename Steam. It's not a day one buy for me personally, but I definitely will be picking it up in the future. I hope this video helped any of you guys who were on the fence about this game and haven't gotten a chance to try it yet. Those of you that have tried it, did you have similar thoughts as me? Did you not like it as much as me? I'd love to hear it in the comments. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.